The time has finally come. Diablo 4 Beta is here and this is the perfect time to start looking at the different classes you'll be able to play in the next chapter of the Diablo franchise, so that you can decide which one is the best for your preferred playstyle. Let's start things off with the Rogue, which is a versatile fighter that can engage enemies in both melee and ranged combat. The ruthless techniques they use allow them to imbue their weapons with deadly poisons and shadow magic that is chained together in powerful combo attacks. As a reference for gamers, the Rogue clearly embodies the typical dexterity-based class, promoting a playstyle focused around speed and evasive maneuvers rather than standing their ground against the hordes of hell. This style is also reflected in their weapons of choice, which include bows and crossbows at range and dual-wielding swords or daggers in melee combat. The ability to swap between the two styles in an instant enables them to rain a salvo of arrows on enemies that try to approach them, and then finish off the few that survived with some good old stabbing. The unique trait of the Rogue class will be tied to their ability to imbue weapons with certain additional effects, such as coating them with poison or using frost and shadow magic to add debuffs that make life even harder for their enemies. Rogue's toolkit will include a huge variety of different tools that will let them stab enemies while dashing around the battlefield, shoot piercing arrows, use smoke grenades to get out of sight, throw traps on the ground and a lot of fun stuff to properly murder their way into the depths of the burning hells. If you're looking for a class with a fast-paced action and you like bringing misery to your enemies in both close quarters and from a distance, this is definitely your class. The Necromancer is a powerful summoner that can conjure hordes of undead at his side, channeling the dark powers of blood, bone and shadow. The grim magic they command allows them to surround themselves with an army of skeletons and golems that protect their master as they bring enemies to their knees by crushing them under waves of blood, impaling them on walls of bones and other fun stuff that follow along those lines. Their unparalleled mastery of the dark arts is channeled through their weapon of choice, which is the scythe, but they can also use daggers, swords, wands, focuses and shields just as easily. When it comes to their playstyle, this is without a doubt the summoner class, which will rely in one way or another on having a huge variety of minions at their side while using magic in close quarters to destroy anyone that is foolish enough to stand in the way of death. The unique trait of a necromancer is called the Book of the Dead, which enables them to customize their summons to better suit their needs, improving certain aspects at the expense of others. The options that we have seen so far include skeletal warriors, skeletal mages and golems that can be modified in different ways. As an example, skeletal warriors can become defenders, punishing enemies that attack them by reflecting a certain amount of damage, while skeletal mages can use either frost magic to weaken enemies or bone magic to deal more damage while consuming their own health. Another unique part of the Necromancer class that is making a comeback from previous versions of the franchise is their ability to use the corpses of their foes as both a resource and a weapon for some of their skills. Summoning skeletons will require bodies as usual, but once your army is up and ready to fight, you'll still have access to the beloved corpse explosion that lets you turn bodies into bombs damaging everything around them. Playing a necromancer effectively will require keeping track of the different minions active and quickly resummon those that are destroyed while using the many other tools at your disposal to turn the battlefield into a nightmare. If you like looking at your horde of undead tearing through your enemies, creating explosions of poison while standing in the thick of things, you do not need to look further than this class. The Druid is a powerful shapeshifter that can effortlessly transform between a mighty bear or a vicious werewolf while he fights alongside the many creatures of the wild. In addition to tearing through his opponents with teeth and claws, druids can also command the forces of earth, wind and storm, channeling nature's wrath against those that stand in their way. The versatility of their powers makes this class capable of facing the hordes of El in close quarters, while their magic can both empower them and destroy enemies at the same time. 
Although the class is returning from Diablo 2 and is once again able to shapeshift into different forms, this is no longer toggled through a specific ability like it was back in the days. Instead, druids will automatically switch into the appropriate form whenever they use an ability that is associated with one, turning back into their baseline human shape after a couple of seconds unless they use another ability that lets them stay in that form or switch into another. This creates seamless transitions transitions in which druids can become a roaring bear that terrorizes their foes and then assault them with the fury of a werewolf in less than a second, which is pretty amazing. When it comes to preferred weapons, this class favors one-handed weapons, two-handed weapons and staves. Not a whole lot is currently known about the druid's unique class mechanic, other than it is tied to animal spirits. Apparently, they'll be able to find the spirits of the natural world around Sanctuary, which will then unlock specific boons that will buff the class in a variety of different ways. It seems that these spiritual guides will be divided into four different categories, and finding all four of them will grant a boon for each animal, giving players the ability to get many different buffs or doubling down on some specific ones for empowered effects. Druids will also be able to swap these blessings on the fly, making them even more adaptable than what their toolkit already allows them to be. Facing the armies of hell as a druid will let you tear everything apart as a massive bear, while calling on the power of nature to sunder the very earth beneath their feet, or blowing them up with lightning crashing on their head. If you enjoy being an unstoppable force that can both summon tremendous magical powers and get up close and personal for some high quality dismembering, you really can't go wrong with this class. The Barbarian is a warrior capable of wielding an entire arsenal of weapons with unmatched strength, cleaving through hordes of enemies with massive two-handed weapons or unleashing a flurry of blows with one in each hand. No other class can match Barbarians when it comes to their ability to both endure and dish out pain. Referring once again to gaming terms, this is the typical strength-based melee fighter, promoting an aggressive playstyle that wants them to rush in the heat of combat, surrounded by as many foes as they can. In the eyes of these warriors, it simply comes down to the more, the merrier. This class has been the most consistent in terms of presence throughout the entire franchise, with many of its abilities like Whirlwind and Hammer of the Ancients being well known as staple elements. Jumping or charging through masses of opponents will be a piece of cake, but being limited to melee combat also means ranged attackers will get the opportunity to shoot them from afar while they try to keep their distance. The unique trait that defines Barbarians is their arsenal system, which lets them use four different weapons at the same time and allows them to swap them out depending on the skills they want to use. The four weapon slots they have available are main hand, off hand, two-handed bludgeoning weapons like hammers and maces, and two-handed slashing weapons like axes and greatswords. Much like it happens for the druid class, barbarians will be able to seamlessly swap between these different weapons just by using a skill that is associated with using one, allowing them to be extremely flexible depending on the situations they encounter. In addition to this ability, the arsenal system grants certain bonuses based on the experience they have with each of the different weapons, ranging from stuff like increased critical chance against wounded foes, or causing them to slowly bleed over time. Going on a raged fuel rampage in the midst of hellish hordes, the barbarian can beat his enemies to a pulp by bashing them around the battlefield, or make sure that his war cries have them cower in fear as he calls down his ancestors to aid him in battle. If you like being the ultimate frontline fighter capable of bringing destruction where only few others would dare to fight, this is your class of choice. The sorcerer is the master of elemental magic, able to shape the elements into whatever form is necessary to ensure victory. At his command, bolts of lightning fly over the battlefield, jagged spikes of ice impale enemies on the spot, and flaming meteors crash down from the sky annihilating everything. Referring once more to gaming terms, sorcerers embody the typical intelligence-based class, revolving around using magic as their only tool to attack, survive and quickly move around the battlefield. 
as it is common in these types of games, the class promotes a playstyle of high risk, high reward, also referred to as glass cannon. Although their destructive power is unparalleled, with most of their skills capable of dealing massive damage to multiple opponents while hindering them at the same time, their ability to sustain damage without specific protections is very limited, forcing players to react quickly in order to avoid deadly attacks. When it comes to weapons of choice, their destructive powers can be channeled through staves, wands, daggers and focuses. In addition to dealing damage, the three elements sorcerers use have additional effects that can be exploited for increased efficiency. Fire magic causes the burning effect, dealing additional damage over time. Cold magic can progressively chill enemies, slowing down their movement and potentially freezing them on the spot to be shattered for massive damage. Lightning magic can hit a target on its own without aiming, and with the right talents can create lightning sparks that can be picked up to restore resources or explode for added damage to nearby foes. The class mechanic that sorcerers use is called enchantment, which turns some of their active skills into passive effects. As an example, putting your fireball into an enchantment slot prevents the sorcerer from casting it, but all enemies killed by his magic automatically explode in a fireball that deals 50% of its normal damage. This creates interesting possibilities between passive and active effects that will grant sorcerers a huge variety of possible builds to effectively engage with the hordes of the burning hells. With the power of the raw elements of Sanctuary in his hands, the sorcerer can call upon icy blizzards to shred his foes, or walls of fire to burn them to a crisp, while remaining at a safe distance by teleporting around the battlefield. If you like using magic to dominate your enemies and actively avoid damage with strategic positioning, you should definitely play this class. And these are the 5 classes you can play in Diablo 4. Let me know in the comments the one you'll be going with, so we can determine the overall favorite. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.